we had so many of our employees wanting to share their stories and be part of the process. It's just stunning. Signature Series says that John Hancock is willing to take risks, that John Hancock is willing to invest in its employees, but also that John Hancock is encouraging people to share their humanity. We're thinking big, we're all together, that's what it's all about. You can feel the energy and the excitement in the room. Signature Series says that John Hancock is empathetic, brave, determined, and triumphant. On September 26th, we held our first Signature Series event, where 10 fearless John Hancock employees stood in front of their peers and shared their greatest triumphs, most crushing defeats, and biggest ideas. What they're about to do is not easy, and I think having your support and knowing that you guys are all there to support them is absolutely phenomenal. I, I brought Kleenex because I'm not sure what to expect, to be quite honest. I think it, it will be remarkable. And, I, and it's just a great opportunity for us to get to know each other even better. And I know my story is not unique, but I also know it's not often told, shared, or understood by society or companies alike. I share my experience with minimalism, not as a boastful monologue, but in the hope that some of the elements might resonate with all of you. Mom, Dad, good news! I made the wind ensemble! I hate to break the news, but there's actually a 100% chance of dying, and not everyone is insuring for it. I can live anywhere I want and I can work anywhere I want, so what does that mean? Does that mean people will start moving out of cities? And the answer is yes. I didn't know what a contrabassoon was, <laughs> but I knew what a tour of Europe was. <laughs> I said yes. Millennials, you can do more than just create an aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed with these superpowers. And employers could be missing the mark by not hiring a millennial with a bird's eye view of the internet. We used to take a clothespin and pinch the bridge of our nose to try and create a perfect sculpted Caucasian nose. My last manager jokingly said that he's never heard of anyone talk about eyelids more than me. Now see, these were the kind of lies that I was telling most people, that everything in my life was great. Now the truth is, is that in 2011, I became massively depressed and dangerously close to suicide. You can knock me down and scar my body but you will never break me. I have since run the Boston Marathon twice and the Paris Marathon once. Perhaps it was a communication failure or a leadership breakdown, but I found out about our unit's mission from a chart posted in our headquarters. Just our unit's name next to a time slot. No task, no purpose, no objective. It made us question our leadership and wonder, is there even a real mission? I truly appreciate you listening to my story today. And I hope that it inspires all of you to listen to those around you with more kindness and compassion from now on. Thank you. We talked about one of our values about sharing your humanity. I, I can't think of a better example of that than what we witnessed today. Seeing the crowd react to them, whether it was laughing or crying, just brought the experience full circle. I wasn't expecting to be as moved and as uh, touched as I was by their stories. The organization wants everyone to share who they are and, and really bring their entire selves to work. I, was just, I just was blown away by it. Oh, it was the best feeling. It was the best feeling. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. And especially to go through it with this group of people, we're like family now and it's just, it's, it's phenomenal. I grew a lot through this experience and, and that was more than I had expected. You telling your story is not only therapeutic for you, but it could be therapeutic for somebody else. It was probably the most incredible experience of my life so far. I wouldn't trade that for anything. I will remember that moment the rest of my life. It was a journey to just get to know yourself better, to get to your confidence higher, and just to release a lot of emotions to get it out. So I would highly encourage anybody, no matter their comfort level with public speaking, to get out there and do it and put yourself out there.